Oh hi, welcome to the 3D files. My name is Saurav and today in this video we are going to learn about different types of files used for 3D printing. Also if you want to know more about 3D printing then please subscribe and go watch our previous videos to know more about it. So when you want a design to be 3D printed, you convert that file so that it supports the 3D printer. We have discussed in brief in our previous video where we learned how to print a cube step by step. So now we are going to get a little deeper and learn in detail about these file types. With so many different file types, keeping a track of, of what file types do what process can be a little difficult. Some file types are probably due to 3D printer manufacturer and some are related to the design software. So what is a 3D printer file? Well this file is a way to store information about your 3D model so that your printer can read the file. All 3D printer files contain data about the 3D model with its geometry. Some files also contain more details such as color, texture and material. There are plenty of choices for 3D printer file formats. Most of the 3D file formats are printable. However, it is essential to remember that not all the 3D file formats are 3D printer files. Generally, 3D files also store some visualizations and animations which cannot be printed. Now, let's take a look at the 8 most important file formats and find out which of these features they support, how popular they are and which industries use them the most. First, OBJ. OBJ is the second most common file format used in 3D printing. It is widely supported by 3D printers and most software will export to OBJ. This file is similar to an HTML file. In this file, it contains 3D geometry information alone, such as vertex normal, geometric vertices, polygonal faces, and texture coordinates. Second, VRML or .wrl file extension or virtual reality modeling language. It is a newer file type than HTML. VRML files can hold a single UV color map so that they are added for a 3D printer with two extruders for a model that consists of more than one color. This format is not as widely used as HTML. However, the fact that it contains color data, it means it definitely has a place. Third, 3MF. 3MF, it is a file format created by Microsoft. It is an XML based data format. It was launched in 2015 to make 3D printing easier with Windows 10 operating system. With 3MF, all model information is contained in a single archive and is extensible. Unlike HTL, 3MF carries complete model information including mesh, texture, material and colors. Fourth, XCG. It is a property file format of MakerBot. It is a binary file that goes beyond an HTL file because it also contains data about the printing settings. So, an XCG file contains all the information about when the 3D printer motor should move at what speed. The file itself simply contains code that the MakerBot 3D printer can read and interpret. Fifth, AMF. Additive Manufacturing File Format. It is an example based open standard 3D printing file format with support for color. These files can also be compressed to half the size that of an HTML file. This file contains data such as object, material, texture, conditions and metadata information. This file format is not widely used at the moment despite it offering more than an HTML file. Next, FBX. FBX is a file format owned by Autodesk. Developed by Kedara, this file format is used to exchange data between Autodesk programs. In other words, it provides interoperability between content creation programs such as Autodesk Maya. This file format is widely used in film productions and game developments because it offers workflow improvements. Seventh one, PLY or Polygon file format. These file formats are generated by 3D scanners. PLY file includes a description of one of the object as a collection of vertices, faces and other elements. The information can include color, transparency, surface and texture detail and much more. When 3D printing, you can convert a PLY file into a format accepted by a 3D printer. And now, the last file which we are already talking about is widely and commonly used file and also we compared it to other file types. Yes, HTL or Standard Definition Language. This 3D printer file format was the very first file used for 3D printing. Developed by Chuck Hull in 1987, it still served with purpose even after 30 years. It is the most common used 3D file format across the globe. It easily became the standard file for 3D printing. A HTL file can save your 3D model as a surface of geometrical shapes, turning it into a triangular mesh. However, it cannot carry information about a 3D model's color or texture. These 3D printer file formats assure your model has no holes or overlaps, which is essential for 3D printing. This process is called tessellation as the 3D model is tied with geometrical shapes. This 3D printer file format was very quickly and easily adapted by all the 3D modeling software, slicer programs and 3D printers. Some of the software even went as far as giving you the option to not only save as but straight save as .html file. HTML is a standard file for saving any 3D model to send it to the 3D printer. For all those reasons, we recommend you to use an HTML format. This 3D printer file format might not contain color information but in most cases that's not an issue. You can still choose the color of the material you will 3D print your model with. And for engineering parts of fully functional prototypes, color is not the most important part. It's reliability and that's what HTML will give you. 
And also in this year, that is 2019, many more file types are included. For example, Cholera or 3DS. This will be discussed in our future videos. And now, after watching this video, I hope you guys know which 3D printer file format suits you the best. Also, if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, then there is a link in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.